Hello, in this video you will learn generalized bridge names line drawing algorithm. As in previous video we did simple bridge name line drawing algorithm to plot the points. If you will try simple algorithm in order to plot the point from 00, 0 to 6, 7 then there is a drawback. So now what we will do we will consider new algorithm that is the generalized bridge names line drawing algorithm using this algorithm you can easily plot the line between two endpoints that is from 00 to 6 7 if you will use this algorithm that is the simple line drawing algorithm by bridge names you cannot plot the line between 00 to 6 7 it will repeat as 00 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 6 6 7 7 so now we will use another algorithm that is the generalized bridge names line drawing algorithm to see how we can plot the line from 0, 0 to 6, 7. So this is the algorithm you can see here and this is the example that we are going to draw the line between the two endpoints. First we will read the two endpoint that is x1, y1 and x2, y2. Value for the x1 is 0, y1 is 0, x2 is 6, x, y2 is 7. Next is calculate the value for delta x. Change in position we can got x2 minus x1 and y is equal to y2 minus y1 6 minus we got value for delta x is 6 delta y is 7 now we will initialize x is x1 y is y1 so you can see the value for the x1 is 0 and y1 is also 0 so we got x is 0 y is 0 that is the first point we got 0 0 now we will check the value for s1 using this equation sine x2 minus x1 x1 as in previous video we, we already did in dd algorithm i think uh, using this sine function we, it can return the value minus 1 0 1 depending on the condition like if the value you got here it is less than 0 then it will assign minus 1 if the value you got here is equal to 0 then we will assign 0 and if the value you got here it is greater than 0 then this sine function will return a value that is 1 so here in this case for s1 we will use x2 minus x1 value of the x2 is you can see here 6 minus 0 we got here 6 as you can see the value is greater than 0 so the sine function will return 1 same for s2 7 is greater than 0 so the sine function will return 1 so value for s1 s2 we got 1 1 now next step is we will check whether delta y is greater than delta x or not if delta y is greater than delta x then we will exchange x with y that we are going to exchange delta x with delta y and exchange equal to 1 if delta y is not greater than delta x then no need to exchange anything and the value of exchange is now 0 we are going to use the value of the, these two values in the upcoming steps so this is important here so now we will check as you can see here delta y is 7 and delta x is 6 here 7 is greater than 6 so now we are going to exchange delta x with delta y and we have the value for exchange is now 1 so now the new value for delta x is 7 and value for delta y is 6 next step is calculate the value for e e is 2 into delta y minus delta x and you got the value for e is 5 now this is the initial counter i is 1 now in the next step we will plot the point x y as you can see we computed here this in this step value for x y is 0 0 that is the first point so we will plot 0 0 as you can see here this is the first point we plotted 0 0 now next step is step number 9 we will check the value for the e that we computed here it is greater than equal to 0 or not if condition is true then we will go inside while loop then again we will check the condition 
if this condition is true then we will go inside now value for e here is 5 and 5 is greater than 0 condition is true now we will go inside here now we will go inside while loop and here as in the fifth step we got 7 is greater than 6 so we exchange delta x with delta y and the value for exchange is now 1 so condition is true exchange is equal to 1 so what we will do we will compute the first point you know what we are going to do in this algorithm we will compute the point x and y like here we got the point x y that is 0 0 so same we are doing here so here we will compute the value for the x this is the value for the x and this is the value for the y so condition is here true so we will compute the value for x and value for x is x plus s1 and the previous value of x is here you can see this is 0 put the value here s1 is 1 and we got the value for x is 1 now we will again here put the value of e equal to 5 minus 2 this one we got the new value for e is minus 9 now here if we will check the condition minus 9 is not greater than 0 condition false so exit while loop step 10 so we know that exchange is equal to 1 this condition is true because delta y is greater than delta x so now we will compute our next point that is y is equal to y plus s2 and value for the y is 0 and s2 is 1 we got another point that is 1 so we computed the value for x is 1 y is 1 that is our next point 1 1 now we will compute the value for e here e is minus 9 plus 2 into del s delta y that is 6 so we got now value for the e is 3 now we will increment the counter i equal to i plus 1 value for the i is 1 1 plus 1 is 2 check the condition here if condition is true then go to step 8 2 is less than 7 condition is true then go to step 8 step 8 is plot the point plot the point means here you can see we got another point as you can see in the ninth step we computed value for x 1 in the 10th step we computed the value for y1 so we got another point that is 1 1 plot the point here 1 1 next step value for the e is now 3 check the condition condition is true in the ninth step we are going to compute this so condition is true here so go inside while loop in the while loop yeah this condition is also true so we will increment the value for x and the new value we got for x is 2 and now check this condition now we got the value for e is minus 11 and minus 11 is not greater than 0 condition false exit while loop now value for e is minus 11 the next step is step number 10 y equal to con this condition is true because delta y is greater than delta x and we already exchanged the values so now y is y plus s1 that is 2 1 plus 1 is 2 now we will compute the value for e and the value for e is here minus 11 and put the value here and we got the new value for e is 1 now increment the counter step number 11 now the new value for i is 3 check the condition condition is true 3 is less than 7 go to step 8 that is plot the next point that is 2 2 so plot the next point that is 2 2 now value for e is 1 check the condition in ninth step 1 is greater than 0 condition is true increment the value for x x is now 3 compute the value for e condition is false minus 13 is not greater than 0 condition false exit y loop now the value for e is minus 13 now in the step 10 check this condition condition is true increment the value for y now the value for y is 3 now we will compute the value for e and the previous value for e is minus 13 plus 2 plus into delta y that is 6 and we got the new value is increment the counter now we got i is 4 
Check the condition. Condition is true. 4 is less than 7. Go to step 8. Step 8 is plot the next point and we got the value for x and y is 3, 3. So plot the next point. You can see here 3, 3. Now you can see here in this case e is minus 1. That is condition is false. Now minus 1 is not greater than 0. Condition is false. Exit wide loop. Now step 10 increment the value for only y as you know here condition is false so we are not going to increment the value for x condition is false so we will move to the next step as in the next step you can see we can update the value for y and y is now 4 and compute the value for e and for x value is 3 so we got the next point that is 3 4 increment the counter now counter is 5 5 is less than 7 condition is true go to step 8 plot the next point that is 3 4 value for x is same that is the previous point that is 3 because condition is false minus 1 is not greater than 0 and value for y is now 4 so plot the next point that is 3 4 and value for the y is 4 so we got next point here now value for e is now 11 let's see yeah value for e is now 11 check this condition condition is true increment x update the value for e now increment y update the value for e update the value for i check the condition condition is true plot the next point that is 4 5 here you can see for x is 4 y is 5 next we will got another point that is 5 6 you can see here next point you will got 6 7 so that's the line we can draw between the two end points that is from you can see here 0 0 to 6 7 so this is the simple generalized Brisnan's line drawing algorithm using this algorithm we can plot this line if you will use the simple algorithm that is the Brisnan's line drawing algorithm there is little bit error when you will try to plot the point that is six seven so using simple algorithm you can plot the points zero zero one zero zero one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven and so on so using this algorithm you can plot this point that's the difference between the two so that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.